develop the potential of the boa. So we're going to turn to uh, what Septic calls 40 variations, is opus 3. I, they used to be called 40 easy variations. They aren't easy, and we aren't, going, we aren't going to use all 40 of them, but these, uh, I think, are rather charming musically, perceptive, it's unusual, and uh, they develop wonderful feeling and facility of the bow. Can we try this yes, first of one of Opus 3? <laughs> You see, uh, that demonstrates this attack, pressure, and release that we were talking about. Yes, what I love about them is so much that uh, there is this immediacy of, even within one plane, of the arm, right arm, feeling like it's really heavy in the string, and then suddenly, like it's yeah. uh, floating. Yeah. Um, and it's floating right after the attack of these short little notes. Yeah. And then you have to suddenly put it down very deep for that yeah. to make it da 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 equal. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sometimes I have the pupils play it in solid triplets all the way through, and then in these uh, little martelet up bows, and then combine the two. It's yeah. very good for finding where to play and how fast to move, when to move for the short notes, because some of the notes, for instance, on a thick string requires a heavier stroke at the beginning yeah. than it does on the A string. The A string, that would be too yeah. much. Sure. It's fine for the A string, but then it's not yeah. enough for yeah, the thick so string. We, we are on the bass, I think we have to s stay in the string a little longer than on the higher strings. Yeah, so then we will skip. And when I worked these uh, with you, Landy, I did them in a different tempi. Oh, yes. So that That's we it. got a great deal of variety and also closer investigation. Uh, for instance, this second variation, the um, tempo 144, you'd mark down to 112 through to 144 for the quarter note. But I was frustrated that some notes didn't speak, so I um, ended up um, playing at about this um, speed uh -huh. because each note responded slightly differently or later or earlier or more difficult with greater difficulty or greater ease then once you get to, to know that through the registers then you can do it more up to tempo <laughs> down bow and then the next bar starts up bow so that we balance and gain the facility of controlling the evenness of it. Yeah, now you might demonstrate it a little faster. Yes, and of a course you can... Uh, feeling of bouncing. Yeah, you can experiment with the different lengths too. Sure. You can yeah. play it more brushy, which would be more wrist yeah. action, yeah. or with energized motion in the fingers and a slightly flatter hair to get the bow to jump off the string, shorter. Good shape, man. Thank you. <laughs> All How right. many hours I had to practice that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Very frustrating at first, but mm -hmm. the work has to Everything be Everything looks so easy, but we've been at it for years. Yes. Uh, we might uh, do this one. Um, that combines a sweeping arm stroke with a little bit of wrist in the piano. This one musically yeah. I like a lot. <laughs> Right. 
Also, one can play slightly longer for the uh, separate notes. <laughs> the bow a little bit oh, more sure. directly sure. on the string before it's going. It's very similar to the first one. Now, if we want to make a variety of tone, and make the little up bows in piano, then you just a little bit of risk. Yes. It would be all it's needed. difficult, and one has to do it through relaxation, to go from very energetic, very strong, fast movement to very delicate and very small, miniature kind of movement. And uh, Sepchik really demands that. It's easier on the violin because the string length is so much shorter. That's right. That's right. 